The next thing we're going to talk about is backing up your vocabulary onto one of these USB jump drives. So you take any jump drive you have and you're going to go reach around the back and right back here on the left hand side in the bottom you'll slide that jump drive in. I believe I already have one in there and I do. So if you, you could do it at the beginning or you could do it probably in the middle of it. But right now I already have a jump drive in. So any jump drive, slide it in that little slot in the back. And now let's learn how to save your vocabulary. So you hit that button which takes you to the button where you get to the tools. And then you're going to go to the one that says Transfer Memory uh, Transfer memory Menu. Now you have a couple of choices here. This is how you can do all sorts of things. But what we're concerned with is saving the device. If you say Save Entire Device, uh, then it's going to, and you can just say yes, go to that D drive. Now I can name this John, and I'll just name it. I might do something that helps me know. Uh, I believe now you can actually use dashes, which you haven't always been able to do. So I think I could do 9... Uh, da whoops, that ain't a dash. My eyesight's gone, gang. 9-30-14. I hope that's possible. It didn't used to be. Good. Now it's saving, so it does work now when you use those dashes. I could be wrong, but my memory is in the past you couldn't use dashes. So I like it because it's dated. Now it's backing up the entire device. That's all the settings in all six user areas. Things like uh, if you have some sort of remote control thing saved in there. It would have been less memory if I had done the same thing when I had done, got into the, let's go all the way out. Same, I could have done the same thing. I could have said, go in here to the tools. I could have done transfer memory menu. And I could have done just save one user area instead. And then I could have picked the area that I usually use using one user area. And then again, just say, okay, use that previous, it's, it knows that D drive is my jump drive. And then I can call it just, I'll just do this one, J-I-K for something fast. So see how much quicker that was, because that was just one user area. So now, two years from now or something, or a month from now or something, I, I want to share this vocabulary with another student, or I want to back it up on something, and then I would just do the exact same steps almost. I'd go to the toolbox, go to the toolbox, I'd hit transfer memory menu, but instead of doing saving now, I'd either do load one user area, and then it goes right to my jump drive, and you can see the ones I saved. Now, this would be a whole file. It says right on there, entire device, so I'd have to go to this one because I'm only loading one user area. All right? So the same exact steps if you want to save the entire device. Just remember, it's a little safer to save the entire device, but one user area is usually what most people are using. All right, I hope that helps you learn how to back up your vocabulary uh, onto a jump drive and then reload it if you ever have to. And you can email this to somebody. Remember, you can treat this like a document and email it and put it on your email or email it to somebody uh, so that it sort of has a safe place to be kept because we do lose these things. All right, I hope you have a good day.